Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today and I hope you had a great weekend. Um, we are really coming to the end of the semester here, which is so exciting. Um, I'm in the process of grading your profile essays and I'm working through your outlines. And as I'm working through your cause and effect outlines, I'm seeing some consistent issues that I wanted to address today. The first issue is that a lot of you are neglecting to remember that this essay is supposed to be focused on you and a decision that you're going to make to be a better version of yourself, the version that you talked about in the eulogy assignment. So for example, um, if you're writing about social problems like racism or poverty and the effects of poverty or how racism happens, that does not correspond with the purpose of this assignment. This is supposed to be about you. So for example, if you're talking about a future effect you're gonna have on the world, that should come in the form of some kind of goal. And then the causes um, should be in your topic sentences. And those are the actions that you're going to take to reach that goal. Um, the other issue that I'm seeing pretty consistently is that some of you are writing in past tense as though you've already achieved this goal. And that is not the purpose of this assignment. You are supposed to be writing um, really kind of an empowering outline of this is what I'm going to do, A, B, and C, to get to D, this goal. So I want to take a look at one of... Um, one of the assignments that I received um, today, and this person did a really, really great job. Um, and so I want to give you a specific example um, of a student who received a 100. So in the introduction portion, it said, in my teenage and my early 20s, I was a fool. I knew then what I, if I knew then what I knew now, I could have gotten my foot in the door towards my career much earlier. And today in my mid 30s, I would have already had the success and comfort that I dream of. I want to become a professional engineer and take the reins of the small company on spec engineering that I've worked for for the past eight years as a field technician. I need to complete my education, then shadow two owners and learn from their experience, all while networking with new and old clients. So in this case, what we see here is we see that this student wants to become a professional engineer that's their goal. That's their effect. And then we see the steps that they know they need to take in order to reach that specific goal. So let's continue. We go to their body paragraphs. And again, guys, these should all be actions that you're planning on taking in order to reach that said goal. So here's the first direct action that we see. Finishing school with a master's degree and obtaining both the certifications and the license required to obtain the title of a professional engineer will ensure a highly ranked position for the company. So there we see a direct action that correlates to the goal. Let's take a look at the second action. Learning from the combined 50 plus years of experience from the two owners, Tim and Julius, would not only be valuable, but necessary to continue the success and reputation of on-spec engineering. Okay, again, we see a direct action in his life that he plans to do to correlate with the goal. And then finally, the last one, Networking with clientele is already a part of the position, but building their confidence that I would be the right choice to take the reins would not only preserve their business, but could solidify myself as the right choice to Tim and Julius. So what I want you to note is that all three of these are very clear actions, and these actions relate to this person's end goal, which is to be a professional engineer and to eventually take a management role at this firm. So guys, what I want you to see is the body paragraphs or the topic sentences should be direct actions. And those direct actions should be a reflection of the goal that you want to reach, which is the effect. So for Robert, networking, shadowing, and completing education, those are three actions he plans to take. 
directly correspond with the effect he wants to have, which is becoming a professional engineer. That is his goal. So I hope that this example gives you a more straightforward approach as to how you should be viewing um, this particular outline. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'm glad to walk through your outline with you or help you brainstorm ideas or review your outline. If you did not do well on this outline assignment, um, you can replace your grade um, to reach a 70%. Um, that needs to be submitted um, more than likely by this Thursday if you would like feedback before we go on break. If you submit after Thursday, um, there's a good likelihood I will not be able to get to it until the Sunday um, that we get back as I will be out of the country. All right, if I, you have any questions, reach out. I hope this was helpful um, and I look forward to continuing to work with you on your third and final essay.